Katrina, why are you not asleep? I heard you sneak out. Now I can see why. You've been thieving again, haven't you? Um. Yes. Now go back to sleep. Are you mad? How much longer are you going to keep this up for? Please give a touch this I implore you. No one will suspect a young lady of good standing. I take great precautions not to get caught. Do you not worry? I admire your resolve, but surely it's only a matter of time before your luck takes its leave of you. Catherine, the money Father left us is nearly gone. There are debts to be paid. The inn is barely covering costs. I don't know what else to do. I'm trying to provide for us. What is this? Nothing. I've just been careless in the stables. Please do not fuss, Anne. Tired, Anne. What is it that takes you away so often? Don't think I haven't noticed. Someone said something, Edward. Is my sister putting your head in the nonsense? Catherine hasn't said anything. Like you, she's stubborn. I can see it in your eyes and your demeanour. I walked past last night and your horse was gone. Rather late for a young lady to be out, is it not? Yes, Edward. Sometimes I leave the house at night. Well, what is it that takes you away at such an hour? And as your fiance, I expect you to be open and honest with him. Miss Lavelle, I have been told that I can find a room at your inn. Excuse me. And I'm not done speaking with you yet. I have customers, Edward. My name is Anne. Although you probably already know this. It's usual for guests to introduce themselves. It's William. No last name. William Sayer. Are you quite sure about that, Mr. Sayer? Anne, um, can I talk to you, please? Catherine, can you sort a room for Mr. Sayer? Mr. Sayer, this is my sister, Catherine. She will take care of you from here. I have other business to attend to. Quite a headstrong young lady, your sister. I've had to learn very quickly how to stand on her own two feet, sir. Follow me in timely death of our dear papa. Follow me. Edward, you can't be in here. Where's Anne? She is out. Yeah, I know that, but where? I don't know. You do not know or you will not tell me. Look, you and your sister are gravely mistaken if you think you can continue to lie to me. I would not be made a fool of, especially by woman. No! 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 <clears throat> I can only assume, Miss Lavelle, that you still have no idea as to whom I am. Have you ever heard of the name Shotbolt? You can't be. You are William Shotbolt. Your reputation precedes you, sir, as the most fearsome highwayman in the whole of England. I hope to ride alongside you this evening. I can offer you my experience. I hear that Lord Dudley is passing through the area imminently, and he has more than a penny or two, for sure. 
I do not need a mentor, Mr. Shotbolt. <laughs> I beg to differ. I have watched you on several occasions as of late, and your delivery has been tardy. It would not take too wise a man to figure out your true identity. What are you doing? You need to practice first. <laughs> I have a fiance. That man I saw you with when I first arrived. He did not seem very pleased at your secretiveness. You heard our conversations. I guess you're used to getting what you want. Usually. I do enjoy the challenge, though. Enough of this frivolity, sir. The evening light is slipping by. Lavelle. Don't you get too cocky now. <laughs> Where have you been? What have you been doing with him? Been worried sick, I've been looking for you. What are you wearing? Tell me, please. I had no choice, Edward. The inn is bleeding us dry. William was helping us get some money. That's all. Edward. Do not leave the house with other men. He leaves today. Catherine, I'm so sorry. I was supposed to be back before sunrise. Go get some rest. I'll be up soon. And I need to speak to you. I promise I'll be back soon. William, I. I. Um... Miss Lavelle. I shall bid you good day. I shall be gone by this evening. I want to come with you. You have a sister who needs you. I advise you to take good care of her. There is something amiss here. I have seen that look before in women who... Anne? There is something about your fiance I do not like nor trust. Please. Tread carefully. I believe he poses a threat to you both. Edward! No! He loves me! He'd do anything for me. He may not have your spirit of adventure, but he's dependable. And he's been good to me and Catherine. Though I do wonder how different my life would be if I'd met you first. I am a miserable liar and a thief. Family bonds are stronger. Look after your sister. <laughs> Catherine, go to your room now. You are a loathsome creature. I have killed men more worthy of life than you. Please, don't hurt me. Oh. So he is a coward also. You must have a sick and twisted mind to think that you can just take what is not yours. Tell me. Sir, why I should not just send you straight to the bowels of hell? Because there's an inn of people, and Anne is round the corner, and you will not get away with this.
this evil deed will not go unpunished. I will come for you when you least expect it. You will not be able to sleep for fear of my apparition at your bedside table. Fear your death by my hand. Now go before I shoot you, you disgusting, poor excuse for a human being! Sorry, Catherine. I did not realize the depth of your anguish for me when I am out. I never meant to upset you. William, I haven't seen or heard anything from him. Edward, we need to talk. Yeah, you need to explain yourself. I'm done with that. For the sake of my sister and our respect of our wedding arrangements, I'm willing to try to be the woman that you deserve. Edward? 